Hey guys and welcome up to the fourth and final review of this sort of wave of black series three and three quarter inch figures from Rogue One. Got the Scarif Stormtrooper today. Um, I grabbed a second one yesterday so I'm absolutely stoked to have a couple of these trooper. Um, again, these troopers are going to fly off the shelves um, and I'm, I can't wait to get some six inch versions of this guy. Got the squad leader coming. Um, hopefully I can get that Walmart exclusive somehow. <laughs> um, but... For now, I'm really, really impressed with having these two um, smaller ones. Now, I just picked out an error on the box. And if you look there, it says Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader, whereas this isn't the Squad Leader at all. This is just the standard Scarif Trooper. The Squad Leader has a Karma and a bit more paint on the shoulder, shoulder bells of the armor. Um, so I'm not sure what they've, I'm not sure why they've done that, but you know, again, a small read up at the top there. Specialist Stormtrooper stationed at the top secret Imperial military headquarters on Scarif. Shore Troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers of the planetary facility. So, these are probably one of my most favourite designs from the new movie so far. Um, I really like the Hover Tank Driver. They sort of um, stem from this design as well. Uh, mainly with those sort of, the shape of the helmet and those sort of cheek pieces that come down the side. Which emulate the Stormtrooper in a way. Um... There's sort of a bit of a mix of everything. So you can sort of see a bit of Death Trooper in there, a bit of Scout Trooper with the uh, with that sort of mouthpiece in the middle. A little bit of everything, but the sort of yeah, derivative of a lot of a lot of designs. So but they've come out really well and they look they look like they're meant to be in the Imperial Army, which is fantastic. Um, really great design. But yeah, like I said, this is just the standard Scarif Stormtrooper. Um Word is that Hasbro are going to give us one with the Karma, so we'll get the squad leader as well. Um, and then there's a sergeant, which I'm not sure we'll get. Um, I should have from the four, the five POA one, so you could show the so I could show you the difference. But that's cool. But this is a this is a damn cool figure. Comes with the E11. So it's uh, had a bit of a paint wash over it, which is cool. Nicely done. I, I like it when they just add a little bit of a touch of paint on them. Looks good. And I'm a big fan of this um, design, like I said. So we get nice and close. Some nice details. The weathering is <laughs> superb. It's all the sort of bit of dirt and sand and... I like markings, like on your shoulder there. Go to the back. More weathering. Some nice details. The red's a nice touch. Also like the pouch. Well, they've fo followed through in the, these designs, which is awesome. Nice, nicely done brown pants on the bottom. So I imagine these guys sort of spending a bit of time in amongst the dense bush of the the denseness of the uh, tropical planet <laughs> amongst the ferns and stuff and in the sand. So they're probably anything below the waist isn't necessarily need to be armed or armoured up. Sorry, that's not the word I was looking for. And then they've got the lower leg armour, which is cool too. Again, following the Stormtrooper with the two different designs in the... So you have one with like a, um, I think they called it a sniper. Sniper plate on the high end there. One of the Stormtroopers has that. Or the Stormtroopers have that as well. So he's, he's a cool trooper. Uh, articulation's the same as the rest of them, which is fantastic. He's got the ball jointed head. Which looks around, looks good. Ball hinge shoulders, so you get nice movement. Ball hinge elbows, which is great. Ball hinge wrist as well. Got a nice torso joint there, at the split in the armor, which works really well. Ball hinge hips, swivels at the top of the thighs. Ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles. So we got another fantastic trooper. Um, I'm, I'm just super stoked to have these come out in Australia. I would have been. I wasn't looking 
forward to getting them at all because um, I wouldn't have worried about them if they weren't going to come out. They're just too expensive to get them from overseas. But to have them come out, it's worth it, and I'm so I'm so glad, and I hope that continues. Because uh, yeah, there's enough people after them that it warrants selling them in stores. So hopefully everyone can go out and pick up heaps of them. So that is the Scarif Stormtrooper or Shore Trooper. I dig this dude a lot. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this group of reviews. I'm going to go back and do some six-inch ones next. Um, so stay tuned for them. Until my next video, I hope you've enjoyed this one. <laughs> um, I'm just getting everything mixed up. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until my next video, guys, may the force be with you. See you guys.